At the opening night for the Royal Shakespeare Company's Boy in the Dress, umbrellas were a vital accessory for the team behind the story and the music. Based on David Walliam's best-selling book, two of Pop's bestsellers have joined together to realise a long-held ambition to write a musical. Before it starts, you're kind of nervous and worried how the whole show as a whole is going to go. And then you just, you, your shoulders relax and relax more as you go, this is absolutely amazing. And uh, before the end of the first half, way before the end of the first half, I was like, wow, how lucky are we? Guy Chambers and Robbie Williams are responsible for some of British music's most iconic songs. Enormously successful, after an acrimonious split in 2002, they have continued to work together on and off. You have to admit, that's a perfect fit. With a Christmas album and now this show, they are back on a roll. I'm good at the things he's not good at, and he's really good at the things that I'm terrible at, like standing in front of an audience. I'm, I'm excruciatingly, embarrassingly shy, but he's like Mr Showbiz. It's not a division, one does words and the other does music, I mean... Yeah, yeah, I, words and melody, I, you know, la, 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 all of that stuff. Um, guy, guy, but not, not all the time, necessarily. For the book's creator, David Walliams, the duo were a dream team. Yeah, Robbie Williams and Guy Chambers really know how to write a hit. And it's the thing that people often say when they see a musical, they say, well, I enjoyed it, but I couldn't really hum any of the tunes. I, I'm, I guarantee you will be able to hum these tunes. You know, I look at what they do with, with complete awe. Never knew what a dress could do, or I could find this kind of friend. Is this a whole new avenue for the two of you? I hope so. I, I hope so too. I hope we get some great offers. We'd love to do more, you know, and um, the signs are really positive. I don't want to count my chickens before they're hatched, but yeah, I'd love to do loads more of these. I, this has to be the right story. Tonight's standing ovation suggests their story has indeed entered a new chapter. Nina Nanar, News at 10 in Stratford-upon-Avon.